She's had cancer for a long time and she's just been fighting it her whole life. What she has gone through over the past two, two years, year, it's been kind of like sad, but that she's, since she's gone through and she's like fought, that like proves that she's like strong and won't stop. She's probably one of the biggest fighters I've ever seen. Paige told me never stop fighting no matter what. She's been really brave to go through this even at such a young age. Just like by her being so young and still being so happy, even though like living with a diagnosis like this, like just her spirit's just so like powerful. She goes so happy and just has such great energy. Well, she's very brave for being only four. That she's gone through a lot in her life. She has never stops fighting for cancer, and and we just keep praying for her. Her story began in a small Chicago suburb called Arlington Heights where she was born into a family of four amazingly beautiful women and one amazingly handsome dad. The first two years of Paige's life were like any other two-year-olds. Can I start by saying that it's a little embarrassing that I have licorice in my pocket? But I'm going to take some licorice out of my pocket. Ready? <laughs> Until October 5th, 2011, when Paige was diagnosed with a cancer called neuroblastoma. Neuroblastoma is a cancer that develops in immature nerve cells in different areas of the body. As you can see, the cancerous cells are the dark blue ones in this picture. Like many other cancers, chemotherapy is one of the treatments that's used, and it's known for being very harsh on the body. But of course, it's nothing Paige couldn't overcome because she's awesome. Paige had to adjust to the hospital lifestyle. Of course, nothing was better for Paige than reuniting with her family. Paige and the Bolin family eventually moved to Bloomington, Illinois, two hours south of Arlington Heights. And Paige definitely left an impact on her old neighbors and friends. When we were up at the lake, like, she'd always want to, like, be around everyone and, like, interact with everybody. It was just fun to be around. One of my favorite moments was when I got to play baseball up in Bloomington, Illinois for Paige. It was a big fun and they just called Fight for Paige and it was a lot of fun. It was just really awesome that she got to come and watch us play and we raised a lot of money for her. And that was just really fun. Well, one of the first times that I was babysitting her, I was like really young, only about 12. And I had my sister with me too, but she had put me in charge of putting Paige to bed. And if, at the time, like, I didn't know what I was doing, I had no idea how to put a kid to bed. So I went to put her to bed, but she keeps, she kept crying, and I'm like, oh, well, what do I do? She, she's crying! So I had to call her mom and tell her to call her mom. Well, at, every day at school, since I go to Catholic school, our teacher tells us to pray for intentions we have. And I always pray for Paige every day. We went biking one time in the summer when they still lived here. So that was like two years ago, and then we had a picnic. And we all had a really good time. Um, when Paige, she and her family got to go 
at our lake house and go on the boat with us and she just had a great time. It was fun and I got to visit her and I got to play Jamie with her. And I, and I got to play bingo. It was sitting on the counter shooting everybody with the Nerf gun. And everybody was screaming out loud. My brother and Jacob have a dance for me for you, Paige. Ah, braver than big! Well, we had a picture with me, my brother, and Paige on the couch at the Aaron's Lake House. And that was a special moment because it was a couple months before she was diagnosed. She's so brave, she's such a little person, and she's gone through so much in her little in her little life and the family itself has been a huge inspiration to me because every time I read something from Karen Bridge or see them, they're always so positive about everything. And that's inspiring because it's easy to get down on the small things in life and the big things which they're dealing with. And they just seem to be positive all the time. Thank you for your best friend. Which uh, daughter is your favorite? That's not even fair. <laughs> Why would you ask me that? <laughs> no, they're all like perfect. It's not, even a, it's not even a question. It feels like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes. Uh -uh, uh -uh. It feels like a perfect Yeah, like a dude, my dad is out of town or Paige is in the hospital or like. One of us is at practice or something, like, we're never really together that much. Well, there's not really a lot of times when we're all together, but, like, the times that we do get to be together, it's really good because, like, I don't know. Like, we all when we all get to, like, even sit down and eat dinner together, it's even good. Well, it's kind of like second nature, kind of, now, because we know all the nurses there, and they all know us, and we've gone to, like, dinner with them and stuff, so we kind of know our way around. Um, yeah, like we go there not that often, but now we're kind of used to it. But we still don't really go that often because, like, if she does go, it's for like treatment, and then the treatment like knocks her down. So then, like, she doesn't have white blood cells, or she doesn't have platelets or something. So if she does get sick, then, like, from us bringing germs in, like, it something bad can happen and stuff. So we don't really go in and see her because she doesn't need to go in that much anymore. It's just for like treatment. You know how like babies they always have like a bigger stomach and then it goes away like right after they're born. Hers never went away. So I kind of was like suspecting something or she was just like a really fat baby. We were young at the time so we really didn't understand like why her stomach was so big. We just thought she was fat. <laughs> but when she was first born, like, we, couldn't, we couldn't tell really when she was first born. It's time. It just inspires me, so I know I'm not to be scared of anything, because if a four-year-old can do it, I can do it. She just battles through everything. She's really cute. <laughs> We're praying for her. I love you, Paige. Her family and her have done very well with the situation. I like how Mr. and Mrs. Boland are sticking with Paige and, like, still fighting to get rid of her. Uh, sickness. Just like Paige, I'm braver than big. Just like Paige, let's all be braver than big. Just like Paige, I'm braver than big. I'm braver than big. I'm braver than big. I'm like Paige, and I'm definitely braver than big. I'm braver than big. Braver than big. Braver than big. I'm Polly Schultz, and I'm braver than big. I'm braver than big. Like a stone, carry on. May your past be the 
sound of your feet upon the ground. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Talk